All right, bonus points if you can guess what that is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You should be able to get it now. All right. So this is a Luxman PX 101. This is a follow-up review on this player. Uh, I bought this Luxman because I had not run into one over the years. And so I was really interested to see how it compared to the higher ends uh, of the linear tracking turntables. So I've had all of the higher end. Uh, well, when I say higher end, I mean like the thousand dollar players and you know thousand two thousand dollar players uh over the years uh, over the decades and uh I, I just haven't run into one of these uh they, they just aren't all that common and they have the look and feel and weight especially the weight of those higher end players um unfortunately those other high-end players uh are rather Trouble free, I guess, is what I would say. This player, uh, as as an item of just you know quandary or you know what whatever uh, interest, uh, experimentation, whatever you want to call it, I, I I just wanted it to play with it, right? And so I popped one hundred and eighty dollars on this one, and it didn't have the head shell, uh, which. Uh, of course, I'm filming this because I'm going to sell it. Uh, the head shell does not come with it. Uh, it is uh, actually what I have on here is pretty generic head shell, uh, but uh, it's mine. I'm keeping it. I like the aluminum. Anyways, so the PX101, uh, my review of it is that once you get it dialed in, it's cool. But you know as well as I do that records vary uh, somewhat, especially once you get to in here, and you can see this one's kind of off a little bit. Um, this thing is really sensitive to that, and as a result, I have found it um, sometimes not returning. Sometimes it'll get confused as to where it should be, what it should be doing. Um, the drop point uh, is it's okay. It's, it's fairly consistent as long as the tone arm stays still. And I'm kind of wondering if the tone arm shouldn't have some of the um, oil. So this really, really thick, uh, this is the oil for the uh, tone arm drop. Uh, so this one was dropping like a rock. And so you put this in there, and I usually have, I, I usually do this to most players if they're dropping fast, is I'll, I'll put that on there. But this one, um, I pulled it all apart and cleaned it. One rather disappointing part to me about this uh, was that when I was doing that, you know, when you get into the Yamahas, the higher end Yamahas and higher end Pioneers, you know, this entire mechanism is just metal. It is steel uh, or aluminum or it's uh, alloy or whatever. This one uh, is plastic right here and it's plastic here. Uh, they look good and they work fine. They're just plastic and, and I was not impressed by that. Then again, the counterweight is extremely easy to operate and on the, on the Yamahas and the Pioneers and the, uh, um, I'm drawing a blank on the, uh, uh, the techniques and, and those types, uh, once you get to their higher end, y you know, they're, they're easy to operate too, I guess. Um, but, um, this one just made it stupid easy. So, uh, kudos to Luxman for that. Uh, the guide wire is in great condition to maintenance this thing. It is silly easy compared to some of the others. Um, you know, just taking the, the top off, uh, you can look at the previous videos really easy and then this whole mechanism comes up so you can maintenance it but the maintenancing of it wasn't really my problem it was the inconsistencies and let me I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna take it to the center this is a brand new record I just opened it probably shouldn't be doing this um, okay so we're gonna drop it here and we're gonna see if it'll okay well that, this time it, it raised and it's just gonna raise itself and just stay right here okay it's supposed to return 
and this is one of the finer adjustments that need to be made in it now if I take it all the way back I'm just guiding it I'm just lightly pushing on it to give it some give that sensor a little bit of bias it'll come in it doesn't go to rest so that's one of the things that I can't figure out how to get it to do uh, and then it'll do this where the sensor is just a little bit too uh, it's just dialed in just a little bit too much it's gotten to the point that I don't even put the plugs back in the adjustments because I've adjusted it so many times trying to figure out how to get it set just right but now because of this it's like uh, well this time it's going to go ahead and do it it'll fire up uh, some of the times it'll just sit there it'll be like really confused um, as to what it should be doing um, so like here now it's not it's not even dropping so um, just not really sure uh, that I want to fidget with it anymore so if somebody wants this thing for either parts or they know what they're doing on it uh, like they've played with these things um, you know that's going to be out there I am done with it honestly I've kind of had my fill of the Luxman experience at this point uh, the uh, this is the only PX 101 I've ever had and I, I would just say that in terms of like coolness factor it's cool it's really cool looking as far as like functionality and then it has this cover but the cover is broken as far as like functionality is concerned I would say that this is like um yeah it's just not not my favorite definitely not my favorite um would i would i tell somebody to buy one of these i i would say uh you know if somebody filmed a video like this and been bluntly honest about it yeah go ahead and buy it uh, you know what you're getting into if you're buying one of these sight unseen um I would get a video like it, it better be working really well like flawlessly because like this one we just saw it's not dropping um it's like it's going to act like it wants to oh there it goes <sighs> if you want it you can have it i'm gonna put it out there as a novelty item um thanks for watching thumbs up uh hope you buy it if, if you want one of these <laughs> This is a good one, I guess. I don't know. I've already done all the belt changes and everything on it. So, um, good times. <laughs> Thanks for watching.